Ugh. Kind of a change from yesterday. Oh yeah, and you can hear the dripping. Discovered we've got a couple little drip leaks up in the hangar, so we've got a couple buckets out for those. Uh, catch a little water, so we'll have to I'll let the owner know and see if we can figure out where, it's, where that's coming from. Saturday, March 20th, and here we are. Um, quite a quite a difference. Uh, about 20 hours makes in the weather. It's Pretty chilly, a lot of rain this morning, a um, little bit of snow, and um, so we're back up here. Uh, you saw what I did yesterday when I made those little tabs, and my wife wasn't here, so here's the reason why she is the project manager. I completely forgot about that thing yesterday, so, and that one down there. So I need to, I need to make one uh, a little, I'm going to make a little piece for that too. And the other one for the, the pedo heat. That there. You didn't think I'd have saw it because I was working with this stuff yesterday. But I didn't. That's why she's the person in charge on this. <laughs> But, uh, so we'll uh, I'll get those fabricated up today and um, we're going to, what else are we doing? Install them. Install them. Well, we'll need to drill the, the for the snap bushings. We'll drill the holes for the snap bushings in them. But yeah, so that's what we're, that's what we're up to today. Um, don't know how long we'll be up here, but um, we're gonna get started. Got our, um, these, what do we call these things? I call them hang tabs. Hang tabs? The boss calls them hang tabs. We got these hang tabs, uh, used a step drill to drill those out three quarter. And I kind of, I've got a couple different sizes of, uh, snap bushings. I think I'm going to go with this thicker one. It actually fits a little better in that, in that 40 thousandths, uh, sheet. Uh, the thinner ones actually would probably fit a uh, 50,000 sheet a little better but so I'll put those on gonna fit these up and get the ribs ready to go for uh, to rivet those in
We've got our little, uh, okay, hang tab. Hang tab. Oh, I can't remember, I forget what she calls that. Uh, I got the, the pedo tubing hang tabs installed here and uh, ended up, I went with the thicker or the deeper um, snap bushing because the little grippy, little grip things on it um, hold on a bit, a little bit better. Uh, I did put the, the shallower ones in here. We put all three of them in there. I thought they were going to work fine, but as soon as it was, as soon as we moved this tubing, it it, it wiggled the, the bushing out of this tab. So um, put these deeper ones in, and those are working good. So this is our solution to not using safety wire uh, through the rib. So I added. So we added a, an additional hole in the rib there. It got that riveted in with a uh, 42 rivet. These are, this sheet uh, aluminum is 40 thousandths. Ribs are 25 thousandths, so that, that fits a dash 42 rivet in there. So that's, that's what we got going on with that. Uh, I did make, make two more of those. They're, they're primed and drying right now, but it'll go on this side over here. It'll come out and it'll be on a right angle. Um, it'll come this way, and then this pedo heat wire will feed through that. And we're gonna do the same thing right here uh, on this rib for landing light, uh, landing light wires through that. So now why are we doing the outer edge again? Because I said. <laughs> <laughs> Who said? <laughs> because you said. So I can't do this left handed. And why did I say to do it? Yeah, that's not going to work. Because you don't always have the rope, the tie down straight down, you might go at an angle. And as we know from Oshkosh 2019, the wind your blows. plane will move even though it's tied down. <laughs> yeah. Take that sharp edge off of me. All right, we're about to lay the skin back on and just wanted to go over uh, the changes that we made from what the design, uh, the, I'm trying to say, the, the uh, <laughs> What am I trying to say? What they have in the book uh, as far as the pedo stuff. So here's our, this is our new design. Uh, put a little bit of a twist in that hang tab there. We've got snap ring or uh, snap uh, bushing in. And um, did this, and you can see I just put a little bit of a twist there. There's a little bit less twist in this one than there's just maybe just a, a little tiny bit in that one. Uh, those run. Outside air temperature sensor, pedo, and then we've got our pedo heat. Um, this, 
I bent don't know. Haircut. Whatever. A bent hand. <laughs> it's like a hanging chad. There you go. It's a hanging chad. I uh, got that in there for pedo heat uh, wire. And finally, we've got the one up front here for landing lights. Um, so we did this one here. And got that mounted up in there. And we're going to bring the, oh yeah, and also took and uh, just chamfered a little bit, put, chamfered, put a chamfer on it, chamfered it off, I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know what the term is, anyways, <laughs> smooth that out, sanded this down on here so it doesn't have a, so it doesn't have a sharp edge on it, um, but yeah, so that's rope friendly now. done for the day. Um, we've got those um, hang, hang tabs, <laughs> hang tabs, something, something else I got to remember now. Hang tabs, okay. what we're calling them. I uh, got those done and um, see we've got the skin and Cleco back on, uh, everything's lined up. Um, trim rings are in for the inspection covers. It did um, the tie down. Um, I did file or uh, sand. sand it, sanded that down. Also took and uh, just used a deburring tool to take a little bit off of that that sharp edge on there. Got that rounded out, so that's good to go now. Um, I do have a question for those of you using the Garmin Pedo. Um, I've just got it clamped on here in the position that it will be down on the wing over here, just the four, I've got it clamped in forward and half position. Uh, wondering where you all are putting your bend in the tubing here. Um, using, I'm using the Dynon uh, tubing kit, and obviously I've got the Gretz uh, mast. Wondering where you're bending these, is it like halfway? halfway here or further down here or like right where it comes out the the mast but I'm going to do a 90 degree bend in it uh, to connect into that uh, the tubing that's in the wing. Just curious uh, if you've done this where you're bending it uh, obviously you have to that tubing has to be cut off so it, if you take the pedo out it'll fit out the tube so we can only have like about an inch and a half inch and three quarter of tube sticking out after we bend it, so we'll trim that off. But again, curious what you all are doing for that. Uh, what else do we have to do? Oh, uh, next next thing on the list is, um, I got it clamped on here. We got to put the, got to rivet the nut plates on for the mounting uh, screws for that uh, on the mast. Um, I guess next thing is we will transfer drill Transfer drill this uh, leading edge skin 
to, uh, we'll final size this out to a number 30, and then we'll dimple and countersink that. And then this skin will be ready to rivet. Think so, yeah. She's shaking her head yes. Shaking, nodding her head yes. Um, I'll need to verify the rivets that go in. If you've done this, curious if anybody's, I haven't even looked at the book. Uh, I can't remember what we spec'd for a rivet in here, but we've got uh, this doubler plate or doubler ring through a skin and then through a rib, the 25 thousandths rib. Just so, those two. Just those two rivets on that side. So we've got to figure that out, measure those. But, well, that's, that's down the road. So um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Are we going to get up here tomorrow? Probably, Probably a little bit. We'll get up here for a little bit tomorrow. Um, but uh, if, you're, if you're liking the videos, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks for watching. And uh, that's it for now.